जय माता दी एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल आर फोर रोहित अरुणाचल क्लासेस नाउ टूडे आई विल डिस्कस विद यूर मैथ लैब कॉड ऑफ टू एडिशन ऑफ टू साइनस ऑर्डर फंक्शन एक्सपोनशियल फंक्शन एंड कोसाइन फंक्शन ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल राइट इन अ परसेंटेज राइट अ प्रोग्राम टू इम्प्लीमेंट addition of two sinusoidal function exponential function and cosine function okay start with the clc semicolon shows end of the statement clear all close all first of all define total values because i want to add two sinus order function in a discrete domain in a discrete domain i have to define n values so n is equal to i will take 21 okay these are this is the total values now n equal to Zero, one, n minus one. It defines zero to twenty. Okay. Now take a first variable. X one equal to sine function because I have to add two sine order function. Dot array multiplications. One pi n, okay. Add sine again using pi into n. Semicolon. Now, after I use subplot. In the case of subplot, I am using two by two matrix. Okay, this shows rows, columns, and position. Okay. Then after that, use a stem comma. Stem is used for discrete values. In between n, comma, x one. Okay. Semicolon. Let's suppose I percentage. Stem used for discrete. Okay. Discrete values. This is a function of percentage. Comment. Evaluate this function. Serious. N values is twenty one and zero to twenty one. There is no no mention in the case of x axis and y axis and and you don't know the title. Now how to define this? X label. N values. Okay. Semicolon. Y label. In the case of Y, it is an amplitude. Okay. Then after that, title. Title is addition of. Two sinusoidal function. Okay. Right. See this. 
visit amplitude and values and addition of two. So title is here. Now, my next part is exponential function. By the help of percentage, I define it exponential. Okay. Now, take a second variable x2 equal to exp for a exponential. Again, use bracket. Uh, 2 pi n I will take ok then after that subplot stem x label variable I am copying from this and paste it change the position ok now what is the title of this exponential function exponential function ok now if exponential e raised to the power minus 2 pi n ok how to define this copy and paste take minus change the position and here also and same here in this ok now after that next part is my cosine function ok take another variable I am using x4 is equal to cos use bracket let's call I'm taking 2 pi n ok subplot ok this is x4 change the position number 4 and here also n values amplitude and exponential changes into cos function ok now implement this part clear now in this addition of two sinus order function exponential function this is also exponential function this is for a negative case and this is for a positive case and this is your cosine function I am using the stem command so that all these values are in discrete domain ok now if I want to change the position how to change the position if I want to use 3 by 3 matrix take 3 3 to 1 ok now check out ok this is a 3 by 2 matrix position 3 by 2 first position second third and fourth fifth and sixth ok how it is fifth and sixth if I change this to 5 ok and this to let's suppose 4 now see this change the positions ok this is all about this code and thank you for watching this video Jai Mathadi and more videos regarding the DSP programs, digital signal processing and signaling system I will upload. Please subscribe my videos. Thank you. Thank you. Jai Matadi.